Coming in to his home Grand Prix, Sergio Perez has announced his retirement from Formula 1. Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Might and Career Made Italy for part 30 for the Mexican Grand Prix. Coming to this race after a fairly okay Qatar last time out into qualifying now for the Grand Prix. We've gone purple sector one, purple event sector two, purple sector three, which is going to put us on provisional pole position. Good luck there. Is it on to the final run? We're down it in the third sector. Is it past the best in the middle sector? We've had a massive tongue slapper, and it's going to be enough though to put back on pole. To the race. Welcome to the most popular city in North America. The legendary Jim Clark won the first official F1 race here in 1963. It's Mexico City and it's Grand Prix Sunday. Over 2,000 meters above sea level, the altitude will test the driver's fitness and their engine's efficiency. 17 corners across a 2.6 mile circuit, expect incredible speeds in excess of 215 miles per hour and overtaking into the braking zones of turn one and turn four. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Sainz, Stroll, Perez, Ocon, Hamilton, Norris, Bottas, Magnussen, Joe, Albert, De Vries, Sargent, the reserve driver, Liam Lawson, Verstappen, and Enzo Fittipaldi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Joined once again by former Formula One driver Anthony Davidson. And they've had a lot of on-track incidents recently. That could leave them low on confidence. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers were able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. So we're here on the grid then and it's another usual one stop. Starting on the softs, going to the mediums. We've always been quick here in Mexico and we realistically need a win to get this season back on track after such a strong first half as we come on to the grid now a very long run down to the first corner so we are going to be punching a massive hole for 19 other cars to sit in but let's see what we can do as the five red lights come on and go out and we're racing here in Mexico and we've got a fairly decent start as George there in the background going wheel to wheel with the McLaren they're three wide in the background we've managed to detach ourselves from it it down into turn one they're three wide George on the inside off the McLaren round the outside goes George the McLaren's been absolutely mugged and so sighted has gone sweeping round the outside of him that is all Leclerc one of the Ferraris the McLaren goes down but we lead from the Ferrari from George as as is Piastri who's still going backwards on this opening lap we've managed to pull out a small lead whilst they were battling as we go down and now this is George who needs a fairly decent result himself after Qatar after the spin he had in the sprint and he's nearly made contact there with Leclerc side by side through the first couple of corners through the triple chicane who can get the exit it looks like George may have done but they're still side by side George gets his nose ahead Leclerc still trying to battle him but in the end George gets the job done and now it's what it always seems to be this season but the other Ma the other Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton is pulling over and out of the Mexican Grand Prix his race lasting just four laps now at the end of lap six George has fully catched us and he's made a great exit off of that corner down into the the end of that DRS and we've gone wide we've kept George behind this is crucial after the last couple of races we're side by side down with George he's got the DRS he's squeezing him right to the inside Leclerc is waiting in the wings and as we go into the first corner 
we try and hold it around the outside we're going to force him wide enough but he stayed ahead of Leclerc somehow there we really did squeeze him but now here he comes again we're really squeezing him again this is crucial we don't really seem to have the pace today as George is through on us now in the Ferrari try to have a look at the inside but we try and keep the pins that sweep round the outside and we stay ahead and in the process of that Leclerc has overtaken George and now here comes Leclerc going for the lead of the Grand Prix and he gets it off us we tuck into the snitch and go back to the outside and we keep the pins around the outside turn one that gives us the inside line for turn two as we really really push Leclerc off the track there bit naughty that but now George is side by side of us and going again into the end of that DR straight into turn four we try to go to the outside we fend off the inside line and now Stroll and Leclerc are going wheel to wheel and Lance Stroll briefly on the podium there as it's neck and neck coming out of that corner but Lance Stroll has put himself on to the podium as now we're just ahead into the chicane and Lance has spun it around once again for the second race in a row and he's been hit by Gasly wiping off his front wing and his tyre they're both out and that has brought out a red flag and Lance Stroll for the second race in a row spins out round he nearly took us out in Qatar and he's taken Gasly out with him here in Mexico for the strategy now we're going on to the hards and try and get them to the end but we're racing again after the red flag and we've had an absolute stinker of a start as we really got away very slowly George on the soft so he looks to be two stopping in this race as now we're keeping it been round the outside we go into turn one we're really struggling to find some grip on these hard tyres if we can get them up to temperature we can go and then Lanzo now around the outside of George George I'll be once after we squeezed him a little bit but we still need the Grand Prix up into the tricky chicane now we run a little bit wide Alonso he's by up the inside he's making to look at three wins in a, in a row it's now Sites and George going wheel to wheel Sites now round the outside he's, al he's already had to fend off one Ferrari today George and he's lost out to the other as now this is Alonso right on the back of us he's getting closer and closer he goes to the inside and definitely inside into that corner but we try to stay ahead we cut him back we're gonna cut him back again we're gonna go deep into the stadium section and squeeze him out with Alonso that's the back house of that one is now this is George coming back at Carlos Sainz through the first couple of corners and George gets the exit to blast past the Ferrari Sainz so not giving up there's still a gap there but George puts his car in it and Sainz has to call it a day and back out of that one is now this is Alonso now that Aston Martin has really come along in the last couple of races and he could have well been on for a double podium in the midway point of this race if Lance had a, a Lance and spun it round and taken many cars with him. But now this is Alonso going to the inside and we try to hold it round the outside of him. We go, we stay ahead now. We look at the train with the, behind us a bit now that it's starting to form. This is Alonso on the back of us. We try defend to the outside it looks like this time Alonso is a bit further ahead but we keep it pinned round the outside we stay ahead of him just and now it might be a bit of a sprint down to the next corner there's now Alonso he's right on the back of us now George is waiting in the wings as well Alonso on our inside and finally Alonso gets the job done there and we have to call it a day now for the win because Alonso is too quick and he has started to disappear as now George is on the back of us once again for the championship this could well be important as George goes round the outside we squeeze in and he has to really back out of it going out of turn one and we have a big wobble there 
George now on to lap 18. He's going to go to our outside and now George tries to go to the outside with squeeze and wide. He's got to pit at some point. But both sides and George have to as well. As Sainz re overtakes the Mercedes as you can see the gap Alonso has pulled and then just the last couple of laps after overtaking us here comes Sainz now on the back of us George has dropped back a little bit and Sainz gets past us we can attack into his slipstream it's brief it's a Spanish 1-2 but we try and Sainz locks up a little bit goes a bit deep into the first corner we sweep back round the outside Sainz are going to have another run down the second DRS zone as he's getting closer he's going to the inside his sides we're gonna have to go it try and keep it pinned around the outside and we do just that it squeeze out of the Ferrari but the Ferrari's still up the inside of us is now side by side we try and squeeze him through there we're just ahead of Sainz I think into the first corner we have to back out of it Carlos Sainz takes second place off of us and also sorry to disappear as well this is George has dropped back behind Bottas and now he's re overtaken the finished driver it's now sight started to get away as well and we're once again fighting with George Russell in this Grand Prix as here he goes to the outside of us now heading down into turn one you can see the gap along that and sight as well George tries to go around the outside he's doing what we've done time and time again in this race and just pushed him out wide and at the end of lap 22 George comes into the pits to make yeah I guess this is one and only stop of the day due to the red flag and he's going on to the medium zone to get him to the end 13 laps to go so it's game on now Willie catches back up before the end of the Grand Prix we better hope not for the sake of the championship but we shall see as this is Charles Leclerc who's starting at the front is going down and down and down and pulling off out of the Mexican Grand Prix for one Ferrari it's looking good for the other he's on the sidelines as now we are battling Oscar Piastri down into the first corner there's contact as we really try and squeeze him he has to back out of it there for me so now this is the two Red Bulls been a bit anonymous this season Red Bull but they're looking fairly decent here in Mexico they've always gone quicker round the outside goes Perez in his final Mexican Grand Prix after announcing his retirement side by side gets past the McLaren round the outside the crowd on their feet him and now here comes the other Red Bull of Max Verstappen side by side going down into the first corner and gets past the McLaren as well that I think we have given the McLaren quite a bit of damage after our little battle with him because we got away from him and now this is George slowly making his way back through the field he's just overtaking Logan Sargent also Sainz pitted as well so we're back up into P2 and now here is George on the back of Piastri and Sainz as Piastri and Sainz go wheel to wheel George is going to make it free wide and go down the inside of both of them Sainz has been absolutely double team there and George has overtaken both Piastri and Sainz and now he's caught the back of the Red Bulls two laps to go as Max Verstappen goes deeper turn one George sets the opportunity to do the cutback as the inside line and now it's a drag race down into, the, into turn four and it looks like Max it might just win it then side by side into turn four George right on the outside he's not giving up on that one up the inside he desperately needs his move to pay off and it doesn't for him lap 20 lap 35 and the two red bulls now as Paris decided to get away and George has finally passed Max Verstappen as science enters the battle now but lap 35 this is us you can see the gap behind so George yes the fastest lap three and a half seconds that gap 
it's been taking about a second a lap out of us and he's got to get through Perez and I think by the looks of things we could have gone on to the mediums but I didn't want to risk that but on to the final lap now George I mean the strategy nearly worked for him but on the back of Perez now on the final lap Perez He's on the podium for his final Mexican Grand Prix. You can see how close he's caught us up though, George. Just a car in between us. But to this man, Fernando Alonso, he's going to make it three wins in a row from Japan, Qatar and now here. And we are going to get our best result since Belgium. As we finish on the podium, Peter and Sergio Perez finishes third. Consistency was probably the key to today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's Grand Prix. There are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Aston Martin on the top step. So that's been your Mexican Grand Prix won by Fernando Alonso then three in a row for him now and it's a kind of also a race for what it could have been for Aston Martin if Stroll hadn't a spun and brought out the red flag. P2 for us our best result since Spa when we last won. If you had a target back in Spa we would have to wait till Mexico to be on the podium again. I don't think I want to believe you because the car has fallen off a little bit. Everyone else seems to have caught us up a little bit. Perez on his final race here in Mexico saying Grand Prix after that's in retirement is third. George fourth. Aaron Barnes all the way down in 18th the last of the finishes then and then Leclerc, Stroll, Gasly and Hamilton all retired from the Grand Prix. In terms of the championship then level on points with two races and a sprint to go this season. This championship has been up and down both of us taking big punches out of each other. A couple of poor races for us brought George back in it but then George's poor races started to come back his way and we're level on points. This is heating up. At the back Aaron Barnes has been jumped and come back to 22nd in the championship. In terms of the constructors then we're 49 points behind. Obviously that retirement for Hamilton and beating George we have gained some points but Mercedes can wrap up the constructors next time out in Brazil so I hope you enjoyed this video great Grand Prix for us made the championship with just two races to go very interesting very nail biting as well and we'll see where we are in two races time if we are champion or not I'll see you in Brazil goodbye